What's up YouTube, Dell here from Zephyr, and today we have a brand new art type that's just been revealed called the Bestowed. Now the Bestowed are a brand new fire theme, uh, so it's Bestowed and Bright Fleet, and it comes out in Legacy of Destruction. Now this is due in the OCG of the 27th of January 2024, so I believe it will be the first main booster of the new year. Now, it's definitely giving me Yang Xing vibes with the artwork and, of course, their effects. And the artwork does look absolutely amazing. So we're going to start off with the first of the brand new cards, which is Bestowed Dragon uh, Pedra. So you can only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn. If it is normal or special, you can take one Bright Fleet spell or trap from your deck and either add it to your hand or set it. You take no battle damage from battles involving your fire dragon monsters in general. And then once per turn during the battle phase, you can quick effect immediately after this effect resolves, synchro summon using this card you control. Now it's a bit of a shame that it's only during the battle phase as that does seem a little bit slow and dated to me. Um, but the fact that they like some of the fire dragons can't be destroyed by battle is very, very important, which we'll see a little bit later on. So we then go on to the next one, which is the Bestowed Dragon Fardra. So again, you can only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn. If it's normal or specialed, or at the start of the damage step, if a monster battles, you can target a level 4 or lower Fire Dragon monster in your graveyard and special summon it. Now this is obviously the non-tuners at the moment. Your Fire Dragon monsters cannot be destroyed by battle. And then once per turn during the battle phase, you can quick effect immediately after this effect resolves Synchro Summon using this card you control. <laughs> now they are all obviously fire dragon effect monsters so i believe bonfire which we get in january in the maze of memory set is going to be very important for this deck but i mean just look at the artwork the artwork looks so cool and then we get the first tuner so the bestowed dragon uh chandra so you can only use the first and second effect of this card's name once per turn so if you control a fire dragon monster you get to special on this card from the hand for free and then at the start of the damage step if a monster battles you can special on one level four or lower fire dragon monster from your deck except itself so you're basically just fueling the board uh, with different levels for the ability to synchro summon once per turn during the battle phase you can quick effect immediately after this effect resolves synchro summon using this card you control now Keeping in mind that it doesn't lock you into anything specific, like it doesn't say you have to summon into a dragon or anything like that. Um, at the moment, just off the top of the three cards we've seen, I think the best thing you can probably get is like this going to be the most disruptive during the battle phase is something like a satellite warrior. Like you're not going to want to summon this, like you're not going to want to summon a baron during the battle phase. You're not really going to gain much advantage from that. Uh, and then we get on to the synchros. Now look at the artwork. The artwork is absolutely amazing. So Bright Fleet Rise Dragon Bident Dragon. Um, one dragon tuner plus one non-tuner dragon monster. So it's not generic. It is very restricted to the dragon-esque abilities. Uh, you can only use the first of this card's effect once per turn. And you can only use the second effect once per duel. So if this card is synchro summoned, you can target one fire dragon monster in your graveyard and special summon it. Also, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn except dragon monsters. If three or more attacks have been declared this turn, a quick effect, you can special summon this card from the graveyard, and then you can destroy one spell or trap on the field. Now for an effect that is, it is a tuner, which is kind of cool, and it is level 7. But for an effect that is once per duel... I'd want it to be a little bit better than a non-target destruction of one spell or trap on the field. To me, anyway. I think that's... From when we look at other cards in the game that are nowhere near as restricted as once per duel. Like, if you look at the other once per duel effects, so you've got Glart Bloom, you've got um, Dandelion. Like, those cards are insane. Why couldn't this card have an effect like that level? Especially when you're being restricted to only being able to use it once per duel. And then, oh my god, look at the artwork on this one. Bright Fleet Super Dragon Transcend Dragon. Uh, one dragon tuner plus one or more non-tuner dragon monster. And you can only use the third effect of this card's name once per duel. So again, another duel restricted kind of effect. Uh, but let's see how good this one is. If this card is synchro summoned, you can change all monsters on the field to a tap position. All monsters, uh, all opponent's monsters must attack if able. Also, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects during the battle phase. If three or more attacks have been declared this turn, quick effect, you can special on this card from the graveyard and then destroy one card on the field. Now, again, I feel that for an effect to be once per duel, it needs to be, in my opinion, a lot stronger than that. 
Uh, moving on, we now get the spell card. So we've got Overflowing Bright Fleet Manor. Uh, you can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn. Fire Dragon Monsters you control are unaffected by your opponent's activated effects during your main phase one. And then during your main phase, you can add one bestowed dragon monster from your deck to the hand and then discard a card. And then if this card is destroyed during the battle phase, you can target one dragon synchro monster you control. Its attack becomes doubled. So, I mean, that's kind of how you can utilize the lower level dragon synchro. But, I mean, it's such a shame they only protects you during your main phase one. Because then it means your opponent, like, for a deck that wants to get to the battle phase to then start using all of its synchro effects. Like, your opponent's just going to pick them off before the battle phase. So, it Again, it seems a little bit restricted. Bright free opening. Again, artwork, 10 out of 10. Uh, you can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. If this was activated outside the battle phase, you get to apply one of these effects. But if it was activated during the battle phase, you get to activate them in sequence. So you add one level 4 or lower fire dragon monster from your deck to the hand. And then you can special summon a fire dragon monster from your hand. So that's kind of cool. Because if you do this during the battle phase, you can get one of your dragon monsters. But I feel they need more cards like this. Like they need to kind of give the misconception that you have nothing on the board, right? So then it means your opponent can't pick your board apart. And then you get to the battle phase and you just go boom, 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 boom. But it's kind of like you want cards like this that could be activated from the hand. I think that would have been like the cool gimmick. Is that if you, like it could have been <coughs> this card can be activated from the hand. Um, and then you just, like, so you work with an empty board. Not giving your opponent anything that they can break apart. Because I feel that the weakness of this day is just going to be your opponent's going to go, okay, cool, break apart, break apart, break apart. Uh, so now we're coming back to the Bestowed Dragon, um, Pedro. I think this is one of those perfect examples where the artwork massively trumps the actual effects of the cards. Like, if you were to show me these cards without the like, actual effects revealed, I'd be like, oh, yo, these look amazing. They look kind of fan made. Let's see what the um, effects are. And then I'll see the effects. I'm like, oh, no, these are definitely real cards because these effects are pretty. I mean, like, don't get it wrong. The effect of the Pedro, nice. Normal or special, you, talk, you search out one of your spells and traps. Nice. Okay, cool. I like that. Uh, normal or special, you search out another level 4 or lower dragon monster. Yeah, cool. Very cool. You've got two rotor type monsters. That's exactly what a deck needs. Um, and then you've got the Chandra. Again, a very nice kind of little, I wouldn't say boss monster, but the ability to kind of synchro during the battle phase is a little bit restrictive. And then it's kind of like, okay, cool. But you need the first two dragons to make sure they can't, your cards can't just be poked over during battle phase. And they're not exactly the strongest monsters. And then... The synchros are once per duel for their third effects. The spells are a bit meh. They only protect you during your main phase. Um, this one, to me, Bright Fleet Open is probably the best card of all of them. Just because you can get to activate it during the battle phase, you get like double effects. But I feel that all of the dragons needed to have that ability that they couldn't be destroyed by battle card effect. I feel they needed to have the Magic Spectre-esque kind of um, protection. Because I feel... As it currently stands, they just get picked apart way too easy. And the field spell is so undervalued. Like, this should have had the ability... If you wanted to make sure that they needed to use this field spell, it should have had ability that Fire Dragon Monsters you control are unaffected by your opponent's effects during the main phase. like the, Or even during the main phase one. Yeah, okay, it's a little bit tricky, but the whole idea of this day is it wants to get to the battle phase. And even when it gets to the battle phase, it doesn't have direct ways of OTK because it has the ability to synchro summon, which isn't that bad of a thing because technically what you could do is during the battle phase, you would attack with each of these. You can go attack, attack, attack. And if you've got any other monsters on the board, you could then use the effect, synchro summon, attack again. Next effect, synchro summon, attack again. Next effect, synchro summon, attack again. So... I'm hoping that they're going to get another dragon revealed. I mean, they've got a level 10, which is obviously going to be all three of the dragons to make it. Um, and then they've got a level 7, which is going to be two of the dragons to make it. Which does make sense, because obviously the idea would be exactly that. Is that you'd get all three of these on the board during the battle phase. Attack, attack, attack. Effect, synchro summon. Attack with this. And then effect of the level 3, or another level 3, to synchro summon, because your level 7 is a tuner. And then you're going to go into the big guy. So... It makes sense of where it's trying to go. I just feel that trying to get these to the battle phase is going to be very restricted. It's definitely going to be an OTK deck, in my opinion. Because, like, 
everything here protects you during your main phase. So you're going to basically want to go, okay, cool, uh, play a lot of board breakers, break boards, which is, is okay. Um, but then it doesn't really allow you, like, yes, these could be normal or special, but it doesn't really allow you to get all of these to the board in one go either. So you need to use your normal zone, which means you can't really rely on your... Um, you can't play stuff like Rasimo, Lava Golems, and the Adventure Package. So you've got very little protection. So you'd probably want to go, what, Normal Summon Pedra. Pedra searches out Bright Fleet Opening. Go to the Battle Phase. Activate Bright Fleet Opening. Search out a level 4 or lower, which in this case you're probably going to want to search out the Bestowed. Summon down the Bestowed. Um, because obviously you can't special summon this during the Battle Phase for its own effect. And then you would need to battle to then special summon a level 4 or lower Fire Dragon monster from the deck. So then this would get you your Phaedra. Then you would attack with the Phaedra. You'd attack with your um, Pedra. And then you'd activate the effect of the Pedra to synchro with the Chandra to go into the Rise Dragon. Rise Dragon would then attack. And then you'd use the effect of the remaining Bestowed to then synchro summon and go into your super dragon so it's cool i do like its idea behind it i just feel that it's an all-in-one it is literally well i say it's all-in-one actually the more and more i think about it you're only really using we're saying this is like a one card combo right so one card combo from pedro gets you an otk which is nice but then you do need to be playing those other board breakers and then it doesn't really have a follow back on that um I suppose unless your opponent can kill you without attacking three times. Well, attacking three times. Because it's like, if three or more attacks have been declared this turn, you special on this card from the graveyard. So, like, even if these do get cleared off, I suppose you'd get both of them back, but then they just kill them and you go for the next one. I don't know. It's an interesting art type. I just feel that it doesn't have, like, I feel its restrictions are a little bit too much on what it could offer. I feel it could offer more. Um, but again, these are only the first seven cards. I'm probably being a little bit, um, I don't want to be like, oh my God, this, this art type is absolutely amazing. It's going to destroy the meta. It's just a cool art type that I like the look of. And the more and more I think about it, it actually does have quite some nice utility. Um, but then a single Ash Blossom, Imperm, Valor stops the entire combo and you just go, rah, no, unless you've already opened up Bright Fleet and then you still do the exact same thing. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope this is kind of giving you an idea of what this deck can do. I, again, I love the artwork. If it's all low rarity and it's not going to cost me an arm and a leg to get, I'm definitely going to be hyped to trial it out and see how it works. I do like the idea of OTK decks, but I do prefer my OTK decks to be able to play the best board breakers in the game, and that's stuff like Lava Golems and, you know, ways of playing Rasu mode and getting rid of Rasu mode. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Till next time, as absolutely always, stay safe. And of course, happy dueling.